Pippa, thank you for taking the time to talk to our graduates about careers in the IT industry. Just have a couple of questions that I'd like to address to you, questions which I'm sure are on the minds of quite a lot of our graduates who are going to be getting into the job market soon. For those who want to get into the IT industry, is it very vital for them to have an IT-related degree? Um, not necessarily. With us, um, you don't have to have an IT-related degree. Really, you know, it's great if you do, if you're from a computer science or software engineering background. However, we also really like graduates with a maths degree or a physics degree, so a numerate discipline. Also, electrical engineering is also good. However, in the last year, we've taken several students from zoology. We recruited three in 2009 from zoology. Also, music technology seems to really excel with our programme as well. So, no, you don't have to come from a pure IT background for us. And as a recruiter, what are the skills that you would requ uh, require for a career in IT? Probably firstly, I'd say really passion and enthusiasm to enter a career into the IT sector. However, we're also looking for a logical mindset and the ability to pick up technical skills quickly. So really, you know, being able to learn fast is good as well. Also, uh, business awareness, to have a good ability to pick up business knowledge is also a good quality to have and also good communication skills are generally soft skills when interacting with people. And what do you look for on an application form or a CV that a student submits? Well at FDM we take CVs so um, what we look is really you know clearly presented um, clearly set, stating their education, um, predicted grades, um, what university and what they're studying at the moment. Also, you know, any relevant experience, you know, that's always great, what skills you've picked up from that experience on your CV. Any technical skills you do have is obviously good for us to put on your CV. So um, that's the main things that we're looking for, just well presented, obviously up to date contact details so we can contact you if we need to get hold of you. And what are the prospects like once they get into the industry with regards to progressing within the industry, getting promotions? Well, really, the prospects are endless. It's, you know, there's a lot of opportunities out there for people. And it's really about how hard, you know, you work, how devoted you are to the job and how you're really your desire to be successful in the industry. So really, there are a lot of opportunities out there for progression. And what sort of a salary can the graduates look forward to when they get into the industry, when they actually start working? Well, with FDM, in the first year, the salary is from twenty-one to £23,000. In the second year, that's from twenty-four to £27,000. However, after working for FDM for a minimum of four years, the average salary is £63,000. So there is quite a lot of earning potential there. And what exactly is the FDM scheme all about? Well, how our programme works is that we take people from varying backgrounds, as I mentioned. You'd go through quite a rigorous assessment process where you'd come in initially for an interview and then you'd come in for a technical two and a half day assessment. Once successful onto our programme, you'll have a 12 week induction where you'll get commercial training to prepare you for going onto our client sites. You'll then work for us in a two year contract afterwards, working for our very large name clients on our client sites. So that's what would happen with our program. Uh, are there opportunities for students from more creative courses like games design or website design? There are varying opportunities. Um, FDM has a very large range of, range of clients. We've got over 160 clients that spread all over the UK. Um, with us, probably website design, there may be um, some opportunities there with website development more. Um, we do really focus on more the back end side of things rather than the front end side of things. However, there are various opportunities we train in. Dis disciplines we've got um, testing, application support, development, Java and .NET, um, our new project management stream as well, and networking and infrastructure. So there are varying roles with us. You mentioned earlier that once they finish the training programme, they then go on to move working with clients that you have. Could you name some of the clients that they can look forward to working with? Yeah, we've got very large name clients. Many are in the FTSE 100. Um, we range, I'd say around 60% of our client base is in the financial sector. So HSBC, Barclays, UBS, Deutsche Bank. We have got some very large name clients. However, we do range across media. Um, B Sky B is another one of our major clients. Also system integrators as well. And insurance, the AA, Swift Cover. So we do have a very large client base spread over various industries.
And after this contract period gets over, what are the chances of being able to take on more of a permanent role with these clients? Yeah, so there are varying opportunities after you've finished that sort of two-year commitment period with FDM. Um, you can choose to stay on with us for an additional um, time, so you'd be promoted to a technical consultant. Um, you can also um, transition from FDM headcount onto a permanent client employee headcount. At HSBC, we actually are their graduate IT provider, so they take their graduates from us. So an option for many people is after the two years with FDM, they then transition onto working for HSBC as a permanent client employee. Equally, there is the freelance option as well, or you could be promoted to an FDM Academy trainer. So training in our in-house training centres, training the new people that are then coming through the graduate scheme. So there are a lot of options. Oh, that sounds good then. Finally, students tend to be a little nervous about job prospects within the IT industry, considering the problems a few years ago. Have things improved now? What would be your advice to them? I'd say IT is a very stable career path. Uh, a lot of businesses are dependent really on IT, so it is a good career path for graduates. Um, with us, um, in 2010, the FDM headcount in the first seven weeks has increased already by 150. That's quite a lot more than, you know, just in the first seven weeks than we had over the whole year of 2009. So the industry is really picking up. Um, for us, we are looking to recruit 400 graduates this year. So that's actually quite a large number. So with FDM, there are a lot of career opportunities. So hopefully we can get rid of that negative uh, press about the job prospects at the moment in the IT industry. Well, I'm sure with the tips and the information you've just given us, all our graduates will be raring to go. Thank you so much, Pippa, for your time. Thanks.